Lawrence County was hit very hard in the early 2000s by the loss of the textile industry. Lauren, we have decided to try to diversify and we're targeting three different industries now, auto related, metalworking, and plastics. The building behind me, you, me is a plastic company that located here in early 2004. Uh, they make plastic tubs and containers uh, that is used in the retail or sold in the retail industry. Uh, they will employ almost 800 people by July, and it's, this particular facility is 2.5 million square feet. Uh, Lawrence County has been a great place for Timken, and uh, over, the, over the years, um, we began here in 1960, and we've had a presence in Lawrence County since then, and it's been a growing presence. Many new products have been launched out of our factory, and that we've actually grown uh, other factories from this factory. But Lawrence County has been a great place. The workforce has been stable. The workforce is a willing uh, workforce and willing to learn as our quality expectations rise of our customers. We've been able to rise to those challenges. And uh, Lawrence County Council has been great to work with. Uh, they've been able to give us some of the economic development incentives that just as uh, new companies get incentives. And they've been a wonderful, wonderful group to work with and easy to work with. And we're, we're all benefiting from that economic growth. Uh, it became clear about five years ago that our textile industries were going to go the way that most have and, and uh, demise was imminent. So uh, City Council and the citizens of Clinton took it upon themselves to really step into the business of economic development, something they had not done before. Uh, they sat down with uh, the stakeholders of the community, uh, the college, uh, formal, the local businesses uh, that were remaining as well as the citizens themselves and crafted a plan so that the city could get full force into economic development. Uh, from there they've jumped into uh, developing about 600 acres on I-26 and I-385, have master planned another 2,000 acres and are actively marketing that uh, property. With textiles closing in the area, of course we've lost a lot of jobs, but we're constantly out uh, trying to reach companies that are looking to relocate and we're hoping the, of course that they will take a look at small town America and, and certainly look at Lawrence. We have a lot to offer. We've got a very good workforce available and um, a good lifestyle. It's a very nice community to, to live and rear your family. We are very blessed to have the best of small town South Carolina and the best of small town America. Uh, the type of jobs and development that we're bringing in will allow these businesses to continue to prosper, but will also bring in the things that, that folks from outside of our community are used to. Uh, the different franchises, the other opportunities for retail and commercial development. Uh, so that we plan on blending the two together and we see those two uh, working hand in hand to improve that overall quality of life. Small town America, I think, is coming back. I think the downtown communities that died out with the shopping centers and big malls, I think people may have gotten tired of some of that and uh, moving back to downtown.